perhaps spring is here. Perhaps it's all finally over. Was it all worth it? The year we spent trapped? The year sitting on our couches? Was it worth our time and eternal boredom? The year barricaded in our houses only to leave and see no one on the streets? The city's ghost towns. This was the year that many things happened, so we ask ourselves, was it all worth it? The year of uprisings, the year of destruction and great change, the year of sickness and death, the year that some of us fought till our very last breath. This was the year that will forever go down in history books and we cannot forget, because only the certain few will tell their truth. The truth of what their life was like and how it affected them. And the differences between cities, states, and countries, it may all vary, but I can assure you that no one's life was merry. So today I will tell you my story. My truth is that I live in a small town that wasn't hit hard. I spent my endless nights just me and the stars being thrown into different worlds as I scan my book pages. 2020 will forever be something that we will tell our children and their children after that. This is the year that we cannot forget because we will remember everything that we lost. We will remember the past trauma, remember the past pain, we will remember the past sorrow and we will take it all in vain. It started in the spring and again here we are. It truly has been a year and we faced it this far. A year of our lives spent with no control. Oh spring, oh spring, where did you go? Spring turned to summer and it was sticky and hot, but we didn't know because we couldn't go outside. You didn't bother to see the sun rise. We binge watched years of TV in one sitting and downloaded bags of junk food because what else have we got to do but fill our bodies and stare at that screen? And then again, we're pushed into the tiny box behind that screen. Just a small view into our lives between a small little field of vision that we knew was Zoom. Fall came and went and we watched as the colors changed. The leaves fell to the ground as the sickness and death got worse and they rose. We watched the cold take over the summer heat. We watched everything change with little notice because our little world fell apart. And now spring is again here. Does that mean that it's over? Can't it all just finally be over? We've waited and waited and now spring is finally here. It's over or it will be soon. I can see the dark vanishing behind the rising sun and suddenly the sky is brighter and the sun is sunnier. It's a whole new day. All the muck washed away with the old snow. The cases go down and kids are in school. People are getting better. We can finally find our new normal in this new world. You see, the world keeps changing and evolving. Every day brings new challenges and our reality changes, but we can face them. Now we can come together and do what we wanted to do. We can remember love's lost and remember love's found. We can dance, we can sing, and we can come together to do what we wanted to do because we'll be free. The indoors finally vanish to a place in the back of our minds. All the hate and disgust thrown over the fence. All the boredom swept away with the cool spring breeze. The thought of sickness put away in a cupboard that we know will return. But today is not that day. We can't let this small speed bump turn into a roadblock. We have to plow through and move on with our lives. We have to push forward to watch the seasons change, make it off our couches, walk into the streets, and see the light of day once more. This little world of ours is healing because spring is finally here.